Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are quite well. I, Harvinder Kaur, welcome you all in English Literature class. Today, we are going to start our new lesson. Dear children, let us begin lesson 7, The Peddler of Swefam. Before starting it, I would like to ask, do you often dream? Have any of your dreams come true? If any of your dreams has come true, tell the class about it. So let us begin the chapter now. A number of folk myths tell us about the importance of dreams. However, there are only a few people whose dreams come true. John Chapman was one of them. He was a paddler. Paddler means trader who sells goods from house to house. He lived at Swefham, a small town in England. His simple cottage was under the shadow of a huge oak tree. He was a hard-working man. He carried his goods in a pack on his back. Dear children, in this lesson, there was a paddler and his name was John Chapman and he sells the goods from house to house and he lives in England. His simple cottage was under the huge oak tree and he was very much hard working. Dear children, let us continue the chapter. His faithful dog was always by his side. He did not earn enough for his wife and children, but he was a contented man. Contented means happy with what he had. After working hard all day, he lay on his bed and had a sound sleep. Dear children, he was having a dog and he, it was very much faithful. And he did not earn enough for his wife and children. But he was very much happy whatever he was having. He was very much hard working. He walked hard all the day and lay on bed and sleep peacefully. One night in his dream, he saw the great bridge of London town. It was a busy place because it was lined up with shops. He also saw ships sailing in the river. A voice told him that his visit to the bridge would bring him fortune. Fortune means a lot of money. He kept on thinking about his dream throughout the day. He had the same dream three times for the following three nights. So he could not ignore it. Ignore means pay no attention. Next morning, he set off to London along with his dog. He walked for days and got very tired. Finally, he reached the river and stood on the bridge of London. He was delighted. Delighted means very happy to see the ships sailing. The whole day, he paced up. Paced up means walked up and down the same place many times. The bridge but found nothing that could make him rich. Children, one night when he was sleeping, he had a dream and he saw the great bridge of London town. It was a very busy place and there were so many shops. Okay, He saw ships sailing in the river and a voice told him that he need to visit bridge. That would bring him a lot of money. He kept on thinking about the dream throughout the day. And he had the same dream for three times of the following three nights. So he could not ignore it. Okay, he don't want to ignore. Next morning, he set off to London with his dog. He walked for three days and he got very tired. Then he reached the bridge of London. He was very happy to see the ships sailing at there. He did the same the next day and the day following it. Every day, a curious shopkeeper saw him walking aimlessly. Aimlessly means without any aim or purpose. On the third day, he came and asked him, Brother, do you want to sell something? The peddler said, No. The shopkeeper asked him again. Then, dear children, a curious shopkeeper always saw him that he is wandering here and there and one day he asked him that do you want to sell something he said no 
Dear children, let it be continue. Then do you want elms? Elms mean a person who needs money or food. The peddler shook his head and said, I have nothing to sell and I am not a trap. Trap means a person without home or money who asks people to give him money. I have come from Swerham. I had a strange dream. In my dream, I saw the bridge of London. It was lined up with shops and there were ships sailing by. I was told that I will get a fortune at there. Dear children, now the peddler shook his head I and said, I have nothing to sell and I am not a tramp. Tram, I have already told you that a person without home or money who asked people to give him money. Okay, I have come from Swefam and I had a strange dream. In my dream, I have seen the bridge of London and there were many shops and the ships were sailing by. I was told in my dream that I will get a fortune at there. The shopkeeper laughed heartily. Heartily means loudly with joy. It's silly to take a journey just for a dream. He said, do you not know such dreams are common? I too have dreamed for the last two nights that I was in Swafam, a place unknown to me. There in an orchard behind a peddler's house and in that orchard, there is a huge oak tree and a great fortune is buried. Buried means hidden in the ground under that tree. But I am not a fool like you to take on a long and tiring journey for the sake of a dream. He laughed again and told him, Dear children, when he, the shopkeeper heard about the paddler and he laughed, it's just a silly thing that you have come here just for the dream only okay he told him that i was also having a dream that i was in swafam a place unknown to me and uh, i a uh, orchard behind the peddler's house i have seen and in that orchard there is a big oak tree and in under that tree is great fortune i'm not a fool like you to take long or tiring journey just for the sake of dream only dear children let us conclude the chapter now my good fellow learn from a wiser fellow like me go home and do your business as soon as the paddler heard this he left the place without saying a word he rushed back home and dug the ground beneath the huge oak tree and found a pot of gold coins. When he emptied the coins out, he saw something written on the bottom of the pot. It read, Under me doth lie another much richer than I. So the peddler dug once more and he found a bigger treasure. In this way, he became a rich man. But the riches, riches means a lot of money, did not make him selfish and proud. He never forgot his duty. He helped the needy people. He also gave money for building up and repairing the church at Swafam till he was alive. When he died, people put a statue of him in the church with the pack on his back and his faithful dog at his foot. Even 500 Years after his death, the statue is still there. So, dear children, in this lesson at the last, the paddler came back to his home. He started digging the ground under the huge oak tree and at there he found a gold coins. It He emptied out and it was written there that under me lie much richer than I. So the peddler dug once more and he found bigger treasure at there. In this way, he became very rich and he was having a lot of money. But he did not make himself selfish and proud. He never forgot his duties. He helped the needy people. He gave the money to repair the church at Swafam till he was alive. Dear children, when he died, people put a statue of him in the church with the pack on his back and his faithful dog at his foot. Even 500 years ago after his death, the statue is still 
at there so it is the story is telling us that we should be contented whatever we we are having we should be happy whatever we are having we should not rush behind the money okay so i hope you like the lesson read it carefully underline the difficult words okay dear children what will you do if you find a bag full of money i think we should help the needy person we should give them books clothes whatever we are having okay i hope you like this lesson read this lesson carefully underline the difficult words and don't forget to watch the video and subscribe my channel thank you thank you so much